Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video I'm very excited because I have the brand new Huda Beauty primer and foundation. So I actually have two shades of the foundation. I have, let's see, 230N um, and 240N, so macaroon and toasted coconut. And I'm very excited to try this new primer and foundation. So first let's talk about the primer. It is called the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Silicone Free Smoothing Primer. And it says it's a silicone free ultra blurring primer that is good for your skin and so easy to use. Our Easy Blur Primer is packed with blurring polymers that help instantly control excess oil, smooth texture, and blur pores. Now it says it is a translucent pink jelly texture um, and it blends to a clear upon application. So it's very like, it's very subtle pink so it's kind of that's it it's maybe pink but it's very subtle and um and then it and it has like a cooling effect i have not tried anything on what i'm going to do is i am actually going to put the primer on one side of my face and then i'm going to do the um full face of the foundation just to kind of do a side by side comparison but um let's just kind of take a look at the primer so it's very subtly pink um but it does have um, yeah, it does actually does have a cooling effect. So that's pretty interesting. So that is a cooling effect of the primer. So, um, and it's, it is, it's, it's neat because it is like that jelly texture, but it's not silicone-y. So that's definitely, definitely, um, definitely different than what I'm, you know, what I've felt and it does seem like it's kind of mattifying as well. Now it also states um, you can wear it alone or on top of skincare easy blur primer creates an airbrush soft focus finish to make your makeup last longer. And um, again, it's 100% silicone free, infused with antioxidant rich plant derived complex of glycerin and milk thistle extract <laughs> helps with instant oil control. And it is $29 and it is one ounce. So it's one ounce for um, and $29 for one ounce so it's a good size it's the same size as the foundation as far as um, ounces is concerned so it's one fluid ounce and again it's $29 and then we have the foundation. Now, this I'm very excited about. I actually do like the um, their foundation. It is very, very heavy though. It's very thick and I like a matte full coverage foundation and the Huda Beauty is one of the most full coverage and the most matte. I actually sometimes have to mix it with some stuff because I think it's sometimes a little too heavy. Plus the shade that I have is a little too light for me. So I went a little heavier or a little darker on my shade. Um, that one I have like 200. So this time I got 230 and 240N. The Macaroon 230N is a light skin with golden neutral undertones. And then the Toasted Coconut is is um, 240N and then it's a light medium skin with a neutral undertone. And then I was also looking at Custard, which is light um, light skin with neutral undertone. But these are the two I went with. We'll see if they work. Um, I did not get them in store. So let's go ahead and just swatch them on my face really quick. So this is first the 230N and this is the Macaroon. And that one's actually pretty good. And then this is the 240N the toasted coconut. So the macaroon seems to be definitely the better match. So, um, and it's funny cause the 240N, it seems to be a little bit lighter on the skin, but I could probably make both work, but we're gonna go with the macaroon, which is the golden, which makes sense because I have a neutral kind of warm leading undertone and that one has like a golden neutral undertone. So that makes sense. So that is, uh, we'll go with the, um, the macaroon 230N. Okay, so what it states about the foundation, again, it's the Easy Blur Foundation and it's one ounce and it's $37. Now, for some reason, I thought it was a skin tint until it actually came out, um, but it, it is a foundation, it's a medium coverage. And now they also, the interesting thing is they also sell me, um, mini sizes and they're $15 a piece and they come in all the shades. So they're about, um, they're 10 milliliters instead of 30 milliliters, so they're a third of the size. So they're about a third of an ounce. Um, but if you buy three on Huda's website, they come out to like $9.30. So you can get like three shades. So if you're unsure, you could do it that way. Um, or if maybe you need like a, you know, a summer shade and a winter shade or whatever, that's one way to do it. You can pretty much get like three smaller containers for the same price because you're doing that. Now, the only thing is that you have to spend $60 to get free shipping 
on Huda Beauty's website. But that's a really good deal if you are looking and you're unsure that if you buy three mini shades, you get like 30, I think it's like 38% off. So, um, and it says this, this is not a filter. Our easy blur foundation is a weightless real life filter foundation that's ultra blurring and smoothing for an easy airbrushed finish with medium to buildable coverage for foolproof, seamless, easy application. It's a serum like foundation and it's formulated with 1.5% skin smoothing, niacinamide and pore or pore blurring silica for the most natural airbrushed finish. So now it's coming in less shades than the whatever forgot I forgot what the count the foundation was. So if your shade is not there, you probably have to go in between. But um, and then there was a mix up with like the darkest shade or the second to darkest shade. There was a mix up. If you don't under you know don't know, um, you can just go to the Huda Beauty Instagram. She talks all about it. It's something with the shade range and with the deeper shade. There was a, a mix up with one of the deeper shades. So she explains it. Um, I don't really you know get into scandals and anything. I think she explained it and I thought it, it made sense to me and um, and she seems to be owning it so I think that's a good thing um, and again so $37 but now let's go ahead and get into application so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the primer on this side of my face and then I'm gonna put the foundation all over just to do a side-by-side -side comparison so I already have the found the uh, primer on here and this is very cooling it is very cooling not like not like a um, I'm trying to think like not, not like a mask there's some things where I've used that that really cooling it's not like that but it does feel kind of cool to the touch so just gonna head and just put it on this side and then we will come back and put on the foundation okay now doing a side by side I'm trying to turn the lights down here um, I can definitely feel like a little blurring and a little bit of um, Kind of more mattifying on this side of the face but not um not a real huge notable difference but i do feel it uh i do notice a little bit again no foundation on yet so but that's what i feel i feel a little bit there's definitely more pore filling primers out there but so far i like it okay so now i'm just going to go in and i'm going to go in with just a little brush here and see how i like it with a brush um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna like, you know, the best the application, but I want to do it where I don't mess up the primer. So let's go ahead and do one side of the face and then the other. Okay, so here is a side by side with the foundation, and then this is just the side with the primer. So I am really impressed with how this looks and how much it covered and blurred with just and this is the side without the primer I am I don't if you if you're new to my channel I am not the biggest fan of I kind of like full coverage foundations it's just like a personal preference but I'm blown away with how amazing this looks I I'm just I'm amazed. So um, let me go ahead and let's go ahead and do the other side of the face and I will come back and we will take a look and see if I see any difference with and without the primer. Okay so here is the side with the primer and here is the side without. Very subtle difference as far as from what I can see and I'll turn down the light here and see if there's any difference but it's very subtle the only thing is i think this side is just seems a little bit more matte and maybe a tad bit more blur or like pore filling um i can definitely see my pores a little bit more on this side than on this side but for the most part it's very very similar so i don't think the primer is making that big of a difference however the foundation is so beautiful on its own it may not need it so um i'm really just blown away i'm really just absolutely blown away with that, this foundation so um let me go ahead and um finish up my makeup i'm going to powder i am going to use the huda beauty easy bake powder just a very light this i would say is i don't feel like i need to set it it's not really wet you can see like i could probably go away without setting it a little bit i do like to do a light dusting so i will do a light dusting of it 
but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a light dusting of my Huda Beauty powder and then come back and give you some of my first thoughts and first impressions. Okay, so I am back. Uh, I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. I actually did film another video in between this and then I also uh, went and just was a mom, right? So it has been about three hours since I initially put this on. Um, and I have not touched it up at all. The only thing I've done is my lipstick and you know, just kind of added, but I have not touched up the foundation at all. So this is not going to be a full wear test because I just don't have the time. I actually need to get to bed, but I am loving this foundation. Now, I think it is absolutely beautiful for a medium coverage and it does feel like a medium coverage except it's giving me full coverage effect i guess you could say um i'm really really impressed now the primer i'm unsure about now i'm looking here i do see more pores on this side which is the side without the primer so i do see that this side is a little bit you know more blurring um than this side but this side is still really nice. So I don't think you need the primer and I think the primer is good. I am still on the fence as far as if the, f is the primer, you know, mind blowing. Um, I'm gonna say no at this point, though I do really like it. And at $29, I think it's a really good primer. Um, I still have to test like longevity, but the foundation, I'm blown away. I think it just is gorgeous. And it's giving me like a matte finish, but not like a flat matte, if that makes sense. And that's the one thing that a lot of people don't like about matte. And same thing with me, why I like a matte finish, I don't want a flat matte where you just looks dull. I feel like it's giving me a beautiful, nice, you know, matte finish that still has some depth to it still has some you know glow to it so my initial impressions are this one is a good one this one is a good one so i am going to try and do a wear test in the next few days and i will post it as a short and um, it will be down below or up here and i will try and do that and link it to this video so that if you um, are interested in a wear test i will also post it as a pinned comment on my thoughts on a on a wear test i, I wish i could have done a wear test today and the initial was that i was going to i just wasn't able to sit down enough um, to give a full eight hours and again, I've been wearing it about three hours so but it It hasn't budged at all like on either side. So even with the primer I don't feel like the primer is holding back the oils as much um, But it's I'm not usually at three hours and I'm, I'm I'm glowing a little bit. So I'm really impressed with this one I'm I'm very excited about this one. So uh, with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.